Implementing and Managing the Quantra System in a Hospital Setting. My name is Stacy Palmer. I'm the Point of Care Technical Specialist and Supervisor. Let's start with implementation. What did it take to get the Quantra system up and running at your facility? The implementation process for Quantra was comprehensive at our facility. We validated new devices and the methodology here on site with the support of Quantra technical specialists. We trained over 85 operators on use of the device and interpretation of results. Um, we developed new policies. We developed new protocols for our ED, our OR, and our critical care units. We spent a lot of time communicating the importance and the impact of these results and their potential impact on our ability to make better decisions on transfusion practices for our patients. How did the hemisonics team support your team during the rollout? The, the hemisonics folks have been amazing. From the very beginning, when we decided to pursue viscoelastic testing at our facility, all the way through the end, post go live, we had folks on site who were absolutely passionate about making sure that we had everything we need, every resource we needed to be successful with the testing. It was amazing. How did it shape the way your team worked day to day? It's definitely changed our workflows. We developed very specific protocols for both our cardiovascular program and for our trauma program. Um, we worked with our providers, but we worked extensively with the staff from Hemasonics to make sure that we were testing at the right time, that we were testing the right patient demographic, um, and that we were ensuring that we tested when we needed to be testing um, to get the best results possible for our patients. And what kind of clinical impact have you seen? When we decided to implement viscoelastic testing within the walls of the hospital, our goal was to make more intelligent and informed decisions for our patients about transfusion protocols. Once we implemented Quantra and started testing with live patient populations, we immediately saw that we were able to make better directed decisions for the products that we were transfusing. I have reviewed every single patient test that has been run in our facility in order to ensure uh, from our perspective, um, regulatory compliance with the way we are using Quantra. So I've had the opportunity to see numerous times how uh, we've been able to make those better directed decisions about the products that needed to be transfused um, for our patients. What does maintenance look like now? Has the device been easy for your team to manage? I've had to go back into the OR strictly from a maintenance perspective. I go in to educate new staff. Um, I go in to ensure that we are performing our preventative maintenance and our quality controls, all of our quality assurance functions. But as far as troubleshooting goes, troubleshooting the Quantra has been minimal. We've spent more time educating our staff on the benefits of viscoelastic testing. Um, the Quantra itself is extraordinarily easy for our staff to use and maintain on a regular basis. Looking back, what stands out most about working with the Hemasonics team? The staff at Hemasonics they were honestly the best technical specialists I've ever worked with. They were knowledgeable, they were helpful, they were passionate about our program being successful. We were supported in so many different ways, whether it was staff that came on site to work personally with our providers and to discuss result interpretation with them, or if it was recording videos for educating our staff online in our online applications for education. The staff at Hemasonics were very passionate about our success, 
before we even purchased an analyzer, once we started our process, and continuing with testing after we went live. Their assistance was invaluable and really lent to the success of everybody who was performing testing.